was the leader of a big enterprise. They were involved in commerce and international trade. They ran wild enterprises. And she came into my office. She said, Governor, I'm in big trouble. And my, my enterprise is in big trouble. And I said, well, tell me about it. What's the matter? She said, well, we're in debt up to our ears. She said, nobody is buying what we're selling. We got employees who are overpaid and underperforming. She said there's going to be layoffs, and even she could lose her job. And I said, Speaker Pelosi, <laughs> we're not doing bailouts anymore. <laughs> As my good friend Haley just mentioned, we got to keep the main thing, the main thing, the main thing. And for people in Pennsylvania and Minnesota and New Jersey and states all across this country, the fellow citizens that we're trying to serve want a good quality of life. And one of the main things for a good quality of life for our fellow citizens is whether they're going to have a job. And we need to make sure that we have people in the governorship, in the United States Senate, who understand what it takes to encourage, not discourage, job growth in Pennsylvania and in the country. and designers and risk takers and entrepreneurs and the people who want to start businesses and grow businesses and our small business leaders all over this state and all over America say, I have confidence in our president, I have confidence in our Congress, I have confidence in our governor that they're going to make the pathway for us brighter, not heavier and more difficult. We want people to start and grow businesses in this country because we want them to grow jobs, good paying jobs for people in Pennsylvania and Minnesota and all across the country. Tom Corbett understands that. Tom Corbett understands that if you want to send the signal to people who are going to do that, you got to make the load lighter, not heavier. I had a meeting the other day with a 35-year-old entrepreneur. He said, Governor, I've made a good deal of money, and I'd like to stay in business. I'd like to help my friends get into business. I'd like to do those things that would be a venture capital and help other people get into business. He said, I'm not doing anything right now. He said, I have the confidence that this president and this Congress understands or even respects entrepreneurs and small business leaders. He said, I want to make sure that I'm, if I'm going to deploy a bunch of my capital into the marketplace and try to grow jobs and things are going to be stable and improving. He said, I just don't get that sense from this current leadership. That's why we need new leadership in Washington, D.C., and that's why we need new leadership, and that's why we need Tom Corbett for governor. Tattoo me in Washington, D.C. Now, time is brief, and I'll just make one last point here for you. You know, people want to learn about government reform, and we need to change these systems. It's not just about reducing the spending. Boy, do we need to do that and live within our means. But we also have to fix these systems. So I know you're busy. You've got families to raise, you've got jobs and other things, and community, and other responsibilities. So as you study these issues, one thing you could do is stay up and watch cable TV, and if you got time, do that. You could go read white papers, and if you got time, do that, learn about government reform and policy. You could go to seminars, and that's great if you got the time, and read books, and I hope you do that too. But all you really need to know about government reform is this. Go to a wedding. In fact, go to two weddings. And watch the behavior of people at a wedding where there's an open bar, <laughs> and then watch the behavior of people at a wedding where there's a cash bar. Yep. The Democrats have been running the country and a lot of our states like they're the open bar party. <laughs> if we're going to reform government, we got to put people in charge of the decisions. we got to give them good information about price and quality. we got to let them make decisions for what's right for them and their family. And if they need help, we'll give it to them to the extent we can afford it, but we'll give it to them directly. Let's not drag it into Washington, D.C. and create some big another bureaucracy run by government employees, one size fits all, top down, command and control systems. Let's make sure that we empower people and families and neighborhoods and communities and marketplaces. That's how we're going to reform government, make it more efficient, make it better, get higher quality. That's the kind of reform Tom Corbett's going to bring to Pennsylvania. That's the kind of reform Pat Toomey's going to bring to Washington, D.C., and we need him. So please get out and do everything you can and get them elected. Yeah.
make those kind of changes in Minnesota, the land of McCarthy, Mondale, Humphrey, Wellstone, Governor Ventura, and now United States Senator Al Franken. As Frank Sinatra would say, if we can do it there, in Minnesota, we can do it anywhere. But I want to introduce to you now. I think one of the great rising stars, actually already star, of the conservative movement in the United States of America. He's a great governor, and he's the kind of person, you know, frankly, we know what needs to be done. This stuff's all been talked about for a lot of years. So the question so much isn't what needs to be done. The question is, do you have the fortitude to do it? Pat Toomey does, Tom Corbett does, and our next speaker does. He has not only just talked the talk, but he has walked the walk. He is the new governor of the state of New Jersey, and he is transforming that state in an empowering,